Welcome. What we're going to do in this video is to talk about how to get started in Pathways and how to select your first path. The first thing we have to do is to go to the Toastmasters website, which is www.toastmasters.org. This is what it looks like on the home page. And we have to log in. So up in the top, there's a link for logging in. Click that link and it will bring up a small screen where you can enter your email address and your password. If you don't have a password because this is the first time you've ever been into the site or you forgot your password, you can click on the link Forgot Password and they will send you a new password which you can use then to log in and set your own permanent password. Once you're in, this is the home page again. To get to Pathways, we look at the link up at the top that says Pathways. Click on that and it will bring up a choice of places that you can go. The place I recommend you always go is Basecamp. Basecamp is Toastmasters term for the Pathways system. So if you go to Basecamp, this will take you into Pathways. If this is your first time in Pathways, this is what your screen will look like. There'll be two boxes on the left. It says, choose your path and your first path is free. It comes with having paid your dues to Toastmasters. And the box on the right is the navigator. We're not going to spend any time on the navigator. You can look at it if you want, but mostly that's something for people who are new to Toastmasters. And it describes a little bit about Toastmasters and how a meeting works and what Pathways is all about. But what we're interested in is the one on the left. So we want to choose your path and the button at the bottom says, continue to path selection. So that's what we click. That brings up a screen that gives you a couple of options. The first option up at the top is, how would you like to access your materials? And the choices are either digitally, i.e. with a computer, or via printed materials. I recommend that if it's at all possible, and it should be possible since you're looking at this on a computer, that you, you choose digital resources. That way your path will be online and you'll be accessing the materials online. If you want to, you can pay an extra $25 and get materials sent to you in the mail printed. There are some downsides to getting printed materials though. There are, as you'll see, currently 11 paths possible and only five of those are available in printed materials. Also, as you get to higher levels in the Pathways curriculum, there are places where, for example, in level three, you'll have one required project and your choice of two of about a dozen possible electives. If you choose the digital resources, you'll see all 11 and you can pick which elective projects you want. If you're on printed materials, when you get to level three, they will send you the two projects that you're going to work on, the two elective projects. You won't have a choice. They didn't want to print up all the materials and have people have to choose which ones they wanted from the available printed materials. So they made that decision for you. So it's a much more limited program if you choose printed materials. So I recommend selecting the digital resources, if at all possible. Once you've chosen which kind of materials you want, the next thing is to select your path. And here there are a couple of choices available. If you're primarily interested in learning to be a more effective public speaker, one of the paths is called Presentation Mastery, and it's a basic path that you can choose that covers a lot of presentation skills. Another option is to take an online assessment, and we'll look at that in just a minute which will ask you some questions, and based on your answers to those questions, it will recommend a path for you. Or you can look and see what all the different paths are that are available. Here's what the paths are that are currently available. There are 11 of them. Each one has a two-word name. I think they pick those names so that they could use the two initials of the name later in referring them. So Presentation Mastery will be PM, for example. Dynamic Leadership will be DL. And these are the 11 paths. Why are there 11? Basic Presentation Skills probably is, comes from the Presentation Mastery path, 
But people have a lot of different reasons for joining Toastmasters. And some people are starting their own business. So they may want to learn some things about how to motivate people. Some people are managers in a corporation. So they may want to learn more about being persuasive in their influence in a company or effective coaching. Some people are taking a new leadership position in an organization. So they want to learn about being a more effective leader. So there are different reasons for these different paths. I liken a path to a college curriculum. At the beginning, like in freshman year, there are some basic courses that everybody has to take. As you get higher in your college career, though, to sophomore, junior, and senior level courses, just as in Pathways, you go to from the first level to the fifth level, the lessons get more specialized and more complicated. So you start out with some basic lessons that everybody starts out with, and as you get higher in your path, you will see more specialized lessons that are particular to the path that you've chosen. Let's assume, though, that you are going to take the assessment. The assessment is a set of about 25 questions that they will ask you. And based on your answers to those questions, they will recommend a path for you to take. So, for example, suppose you were starting a new business and the assessment started out by saying, select three topics you're interested in learning about. And if your new business might be public speaking, negotiation, and networking, those are the three. Click Next. And there's some additional questions. This one, for example, says, I know how to respond because I'm perceptive and attentive to others' behaviors. Well, do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Or if you're like me, I'm just not sure, so I'll click unsure. After I go through all of these assessment questions, it will recommend which path it thinks is best based on my answers to those questions. Now, you don't have to pick that path. You can go and pick any path. but you can also pick the one that they recommend. Here's another tool that you can use to decide what path would be the best one for you. Again, here are the 11 paths. The tool is actually the District 101 website, which is at d101tm.org. This is the home page, and over on the right, there is a menu, drop down menu called Info. If you put your cursor over info, you'll see this menu. And from that, choose Pathways. And that will go to the Pathways information page on the District 101 website. When you get to that page, scroll down and you will see a little description of each of the 11 paths. Each one you can click on and see some details of what's inside each path. For example, the dynamic leadership path, level one shows three projects, level two shows three projects, level three shows a required project, and then two elective projects that you choose. Now, every path has the same level one projects, an icebreaker, an evaluation and feedback, and a researching and presenting. No matter which path you pick, those three projects will be in level one. Level two starts to change a little bit depending on the path. In this one, Introduction to Toastmasters Mentoring is in every path, all 11. But understanding your communication style and understanding your leadership style are projects that are in some other paths, but not all of them. But these are the other two that are required for the dynamic leadership path. In level three, Negotiating the best outcome is the required project. And again, you can choose two of the dozen or so electives. Now, these electives aren't unique to the dynamic leadership path. For example, creating effective visual aids. That's an elective project here, but it's also, of course, in the presentation mastery path and several others. Understanding vocal variety is in several paths. Some of these electives are in dynamic leadership and some are in other paths, but not all. I haven't shown here levels four and levels five. There are always five levels in a path. As you get higher levels, the projects get more complex. You can click on any one of these projects and see details about what's involved. 
one of the things I recommend is look at level five at level four and see what the projects are that are required. They get to be more complex since we are trying to develop leadership skills as well as presentation skills. In some paths, the level five project requires you to have a leadership role for six months, either in Toastmasters or in some other organization, and get feedback from the other people that you're leading for those six months. It may be that you're not interested in taking on a leadership role for six months when you get to level five, and so that may be a path you don't want to take. Or it may be that you're already in a leadership role and it would be easy because by the time you get to level five, you will have been in it at least six months and it will be easy to get the feedback from others. So that may be a path you do want to take. So look at each of these details and figure out which path you want. And then you go back to this screen and you can view the path options, the choice in the middle, and select the path that's your path.